God over man. I've seen so many people. They are stifled in life, in business, in ministry, in so many things because they choose man over God. Is he God in your life or is he not? It's that simple. I've seen more ministers say, well, my pastor said, I can't do this. My leader said, I can't do this. I said, well, what is Holy Spirit saying? And so many times people will get all excited and say, man, the Lord has been speaking to me to do this and this and to start this and launch this. And they get all excited. They say, but my leader said, I can't. And I said, oh, so man, is he God or is God God? Because sometimes ministers, churches, denominations, organizations, what happens is they get so controlling, they hit a comfort zone, they want everybody to look just like them, that they will put earthly limitations and restrictions on people. Therefore, they push down the Spirit of the Lord in people's lives. See, what I love about apostolic alignment, as an apostle, I align with people and I help them be the best them they can be. I don't try to make them look like me. I try to make them more successful. A lot of times in a lot of mainline denominations, what happens is you have to follow these strict guidelines or you can't be in our denomination. But what they're saying is they will limit what God is speaking over somebody else. Man, we've got to get free from that. We have to learn to choose God over man. When I counsel people, the people that know me well, they laugh and they say, we know what you're going to say, Joe. When they ask me a question, I'll always respond and say, what did God say? And I will give them my opinion, but my opinion never trumps what God says. It is all about the Lord. There are so many people in businesses that are working for people, making other people a lot of money. And when they go to their boss and say, I feel I'm supposed to start my business, they'll come at them, cut them down just enough to make them feel like they can't do what God has called them to do. See, a lot of times people out of insecurity, when somebody is coming up underneath them in like up, when they're coming up the ranks in ministries, and in business, they will give a few jabs to them to keep them down just enough where they won't step out and launch anything. But the apostolic spirit is that we want to make everybody around us better. People don't join our network to make me better and stronger. They join so we can align with them so I can help them fulfill the call, purpose, and destiny on their life to make them better. There's got to be a shift in the American culture, mainly in the church. It's God over man 100% of the time. And it's sad to say, but I've seen so many young ministers kicked out of ministry, pushed down because man wanted to be God in their life. They wanted to be the loudest voice in people's lives and not God Almighty. True leaders have got to be secure in who they are. See, what happens a lot of time in the church world is this right here. We have leaders um, underneath us and beside us, and we trust them and we give them leadership until they say they want to go start something else. Then we say, that's not God. That's wrong. Because we trust somebody to be a leader, to be over ministries, to be over so many things, and to hear God until they get ready to leave us. And then all of a sudden, people judge and say, well, that's not the Lord. We got to do this with open hands. Freely they come in, freely they can go. If you love somebody and you trust somebody and you know they hear God, if they say they want to leave your church, let them leave your church. I've sent people right down the road from our church to another church because they said it was time to go. You got to pray for them, bless them, God over man every time. There's so many times in businesses, People do that. They Godly business owners will try to keep some people down sometimes because they don't want them to go do something else because they see them excelling in their business. In churches, I've seen so many youth pastors. This happens a lot with youth and young adult pastors. They're coming up the ranks, and then when they start to excel in their gifts, 
A lot of times pastors don't know how to launch them out or let them be free in their gift and what they're called to do. So they start out of their insecurity and fear, starting putting limitations on people. And when they say, God wants me to do this, they're like, no, that's not the Lord. And, and, and they'll try to push them down or push them away and then try to put a black mark on them as they send them away instead of celebrating what God has called them to do. True apostolic mothers and fathers do this. They raise people up to launch them out because they know God has a greater vision and purpose for them. That is what it's about. My friends, it is God over man 100% of the time. And I'm going to say this. If you are in a ministry and people are controlling you, and when you know Holy Spirit is telling you to do something, you can leave and you can do what God has called you to do, or you can allow them to continue to push them down. Now, I mean, you honor them. You, you submit to authority. But there comes a time when the Holy Spirit is going to push you to the point where you have to make a decision. I've seen so many people who are in churches that they limit the Spirit of God. And they're like, Joe, I want to aggressively pursue God with everything. I believe in revival and awakening, but our church is limiting God. Why would you sit under anybody who limits the moving of Holy Spirit. When that happens and that takes place, man is saying, I'm smarter than God. Any church that limits the Holy Spirit, the pastor is saying, I know what needs to be done in this church more than God. When the presence and the power of God comes into a church, God wants to do something. But man will try to trump God and say, not today, God. I've got my sermon in three minutes on the schedule. I'm telling you, America, we're in a dangerous place right now if you are messing and trying to limit the power of God and the Holy Spirit. Because all over America, there is a remnant that is rising up. And this remnant is starting to have revival centers and glory centers and hubs and churches and apostolic prophetic works that they will not limit the moving of the Holy Spirit. And people are drawn to what God is doing. My friends, I'm sending this word out as a warning to so many people who have believed this erroneous doctrine and you have walked away from the moving of God's Spirit. And if you are under controlling leadership, get out while there's still time. It is God over man. I don't believe in the word what people call covering. If you cover somebody, you can't go any higher than this. But if you come into alignment with somebody, you can go higher. And all spiritual thoughts, see in covering, you can't go higher than your spiritual mother or father. In alignment, if this is the spiritual mother or father, they want their sons and daughters to pass them by. That's why as an apostle, I come alongside somebody to help further their vision in their church, their business, their ministry to go further. That is what it's about. There's no control when God is in charge. I hope you got that. And I hope you heard my heart behind that. It is God over man 100% of the time.